Right, this is what I'm going to be working on today, my iMac. Um, so when I bought this iMac, I chose to go for a RAM increase to 16 gigabyte instead of a SSD. Um, so it just comes with a standard hard drive. Um, which is not so great, but it's one terabyte, so that's fair enough, I guess. But it's very slow, um, which has become a bit more noticeable recently. So uh, just a couple of things to test it. I like to have it when I'm doing a up upgrade like this, I like to test the difference. So one of the things to test is just how thing how fast things load. So one of the things that takes ages to load is the system preferences on this one. So first we'll just launch that and we'll see what happens. So that's taken a long time. Um, we'll see how long it actually takes after. It's just finishing a, a backup here so I'm not going to do anything until the backup's actually done. It's doing it over a Wi-Fi to a NAS drive. Um, so. It takes a wee bit longer with that as well. Uh, so there's the system preferences there that's come up after well, it was a good few seconds anyway, uh, which isn't terrible, but it just gives a sort of idea of how how much of a delay there is. Um, so we'll just close that. Uh, can't think of anything else to actually test just now to see. We could try iTunes maybe see how long that takes to launch. Again, it's taken ages. I've got a, an older MacBook than this with an SSD in it and these things just pop up immediately. Um, close that. And the backup is just finishing now. That's it done. So the next thing we're going to do is see how long it takes to shut down. Um, so I think everything here should shut down quite nicely. There's nothing that's really going to stop it from shutting down, I don't think. so. We'll go shut down now and we'll just uh, have a little gauge of how long that takes. So it's going. With this machine, I, I pretty much don't. I just don't switch it off anymore because it takes so long to come back on. So I just kind of leave it. So it's still not shut down. has it gone off now. So the next test is how long it takes to actually boot up and we'll do this till after I've put the password in. Um, so from when I press the button until I've put the password in. Um, which does again doesn't really give a proper indication of how long it takes because once you do put the password in it still takes ages to actually be ready um, after that. Um, like everything goes a bit slow for a little while and it's just finishing off loading stuff so we'll see how long this takes taking a crazy amount of time there and like the this the startup speed is like it's one of these things where it doesn't really matter I don't think I mean it's not like it's it's taking all day it does take ages but it's not that doesn't really affect it when it's running um so if it's the real issue is that when it starts and you're trying to do stuff 
like that it does take ages like putting video on it um loading video onto the onto the hard drive takes ages and you an editing video shouldn't be as slow as it is but because it's on an old hard drive instead of a solid state drive it takes a wee while longer okay so that took a little while to get there we'll find out exactly how long um after so then we'll put the password in and see how long this takes not sure why it does that sometimes it joins this BT Wi-Fi instead of my Wi-Fi network which is a bit annoying you can see it's it sort of came on now and things are there but it can't, it can't actually do anything everything's going really slow probably because it's trying to launch photos at the same time which isn't great so we can change this to the right Wi-Fi now and get rid of that and we'll just I suppose we'll just wait until these applications open and then we'll call that finished. See that's finished jumping but it's not ready yet. Nope, now the whole thing's sort of just stopped because it's trying to load but it's trying to load these things but there'll be other things loading in the background. All this just jumped up there. Um, that's the NAS drive. So I think you can see Pretty, pretty slow and not not what you would want from a brand new iMac well fairly brand new, it's been like this since it was brand new, it's only about a year old so there we go. right so there we go, we've got Chrome open we'll just call it a day at that so now I'm just going to switch it off again and then uh, the next video will be what we're going to do about it. It's still loading here. It's taking ages. So, so switch it off again, which will take another minute or so. Gone off. 